right here, a Marlboro game. Let me give that a shot. Okay. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Better luck next time. Man, your grandpa is so cool. The words grandpa and cool should never be used in the same sentence. <laughs> Relax, Dan. It's all luck. Daniel, I gotta run to your aunt. She got another bird stuck in her chimney. I shouldn't be gone long, though. I trust you gentlemen could hold down the fort while I'm gone? Um, uh, sure. Of course, sir. He called us gentlemen. All right, then. I'll be back before you can say marble. Oh, and, uh, Daniel, don't forget, I don't want you guys messing around upstairs. Dan, how come your grandpa never lets us go upstairs? I don't know. He's never let anybody up there. This house is old. It's probably just rotting floorboards or termites or something. Or a dead body. Sean, be honest. Is your head hollow? Well, duh. How else would my brain fit in there? Actually, it is kind of funny. When I was younger, I used to think he wouldn't let us go up there because he was hiding treasure. Treasure? Treasure? <laughs> My mom and her siblings thought the same thing too. It's like Davy Jones locker up there. No one goes in, nothing comes out. There is even a little door up there that would be the perfect place to hide something away. Oh no. We have to look for the treasure. There is no treasure. What are we, five? It is kind of weird that your grandpa never let your mom up there either. I'm, I'm not calling your mom old, but how long does it take termites to chew through the floor? <sighs> Guys, you cannot be serious right now. Besides, I snuck up there when I was younger to go treasure hunting and found nothing but a bunch of old furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dan, just let us see. Imagine what we could do with a hundred year old treasure. We could buy all the marbles in the world. The possibilities! Please, this is kid stuff. If my grandpa finds out we've gone up there, he's going to kill me. He's not gonna know. Oh, trust me, he'll know. When he thinks somebody's been up there, he turns into old man Jenkins. Please, 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 please! If, if I take you up there and prove to you that there's nothing, will it shut you up? Maybe. Yes. <sighs> yes! See? Nothing. Maybe we just need to look harder. Yeah, yeah, Sean's right. There's gotta be something in one of those boxes. Let's see one. It's not <laughs> funny, guys. <laughs> Let me out, now. All right, relax, relax, we'll let you out. Oh no. What was that? Uh, nothing, nothing at all. 
Sean? You realize I know that's you, right? <laughs> Marcus, what is going on? Uh, it appears there's been a minor setback. What kind of setback? Well, someone or something um, may or may not have removed this tiny doorknob from this tiny door. My theories, gremlins, sneaky little guys. You broke the doorknob? Technically, yes, but we can fix this. We just gotta think. I just need to think. How can I let them talk me into this? Especially Sean. Sean and I will fix this. You just try to push from the inside. I mean, it's gotta be around here somewhere. It can't just disappear. Uh, let's retrace our steps. We didn't take any steps, Sean. Besides, even if we did find it, we'd never be able to put it back on in time. The door's jammed. Toast. Guys? What happened? What? The, the, there's something in here with me! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Uh, try clicking your heels together three times! What? Sean, this is serious. What about a tool or something? Something we can use to rip the door off? Okay, maybe not. Rip it off, but but maybe we can pry it open. Dan, where does your grandpa keep his tools? Kitchen drawer, next to the onion box. We gotta hurry. Danny. 